Hey guys, so I wanted to share another dream that I had from the Lord. I had this one last year as well, about three days after I had my dream about the Mark of the Beast. Before I get into the dream, I do want to share this verse. Um, the Lord led me to it, so I was unsure about sharing this dream anyway. So... The verse is in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, and it starts off at verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Alright, so this dream started off as me working as a cashier at a store. It looked like it was a Walmart. As I was checking people out, they were being rude and in a hurry. The dream then flashed to me waiting in line with one of my sisters, but I only had two items that I needed with me. My sister and I were joking around a bit with each other, but we were very aware of the people around us. The fill was somewhat chaotic. And then I was back to being a cashier again. And the customers were much more impatient and rude this time. Some were even arguing with each other in line. While I was checking people out, I was on the phone with my husband. I told him that things were getting too crazy and I wanted to leave, which he responded for me to leave. After that, the dream flashed to me driving with the same sister to a campsite to get away from the mass amount of people. That was just chaos. My husband was going to meet me there. My sister and I got there before any other people did, so we decided to go over to the lake before anybody else started to show up. It was a full moon out, and it shone beautifully onto the lake. And then I noticed the water glowing, and I could see these super tiny creatures were the reason the water was glowing. They were either glowing green or blue. I knew they weren't safe for people, so I picked all of them out of the water and put them into this clear container I had. After that, everything went pitch black, even the sky. I was totally shocked and scared because I hate the dark. At this point, I was alone on the beach. Then the water started to have this pure glow. And there was a man in the water about waist deep. He reminded me of like a middle-aged trucker. He had brown hair and some glasses. I was standing on the beach right in front of the water staring at him. I believe I asked him where he came from, to which he just shrugged and moved around a little in the water. He did say some other things that just made me tilt my head to the side. And then I asked him why everything had gotten dark. He motioned towards the clear container in my hands and told me that it was because I took those tiny creatures out of the water. I told him that they weren't safe for people and that they shouldn't be in the water. They should be destroyed. He then told me that everything was created with a purpose and that those creatures had a purpose to serve. I nodded my head and looked down at the creatures. When I looked back up to ask more questions, the man was gone. I looked around but didn't see him anywhere. While I was looking around for this man, I saw that a handful of people had arrived in the parking lot. I said all right to myself, everything has a purpose to serve. So I threw the creatures back into the lake, but I had only thrown the blue ones back in since they were somehow less dangerous. Once I did that, the full moon shone again, and the water lit back up, and then I woke up. Um, upon waking up, I knew that this dream was for the Lord, and basically just to calm my spirit down, and let me know not to be afraid of things that were going on, and the things that are to come. And just thank you guys for taking the time to listen to this, and have a blessed day.
Hey guys, so 